true. Well, you're trying to tell me exactly what I need to do, and I just wanted to make sure that if I had to go to the restroom, you wouldn't be trying to arrest me or anything. I would not arrest you for trying to utilize a restroom. That's okay. A, well, thank utilizing you. Utilizing a restroom is a simple Are we done? I'm highlighting this video because it's another veteran being treated bad by the police at the VA hospital. This one comes to us from the VA hospital in Dallas, Texas, and was posted to the YouTube channel Marty Rodriguez. I put the link to his original video in the description below. It's worth going to check out if you want the details of the issues Mr. Rodriguez is having. He wrote a very detailed account of the troubles he's had with the hospital in the description of his video. If you go check it out, tell Mr. Rodriguez questionable authority sent you. But while you're still here, remember to like, share, subscribe, and leave me a comment. It helps more than you know. I wanted to highlight this, not only because of the way in which this veteran was treated, but also because this type of treatment seems to be common at these facilities. I've been contacted by a few just in my area after I posted the video of my arrest and subsequent follow-up at the hospital here with Rockman Al. And I have some updates coming to that soon, by the way. One would think vets would be treated better by these enforcement thugs, but this doesn't seem to be the case. The usual tactics of intimidation, coercion, and threats of violence if need be to gain compliance to whatever directives have been given. Watch this blue line gangster escalate the situation when Mr. Rodriguez tells him he doesn't need to be given directives on how to go about his business he is conducting at the hospital. Like usual, order followers don't understand non-compliance. It usually ends up in them escalating things. If you don't know how to handle yourself, things can get ugly quickly. I've been able to help others with the help of my friend Rockman Al here locally who've had a hard time with the VA enforcement gangsters. If you need help in your area, reach out to an auditor near you for help in documenting your experience. So far here locally, just having a third party there to help document and make sure care was given with compassion was all that was necessary. And we'll be back to help more if we need to. But for now, watch this wily veteran handle himself well with this order follower. Hello? Hey. I want to file a complaint and I need that all their medicines provided to me today. If there's a problem, get the VA police over here. I'll talk to them and they can get it all done. I didn't get all my medicines. Those people over there in the pharmacy screwed that whole thing up and they didn't provide me my medicine. And they didn't pay for it. Also, I'm sweating that we need to take my temperature to see if I've got a temperature. I'll tell you what, let's get the VA police over here then. Okay. I'll talk to them. Hey man, yeah, call them, call them. Let me, let me take the temperature. Yeah. Do a worse new car for you like symptoms? Yes. <laughs> yes to what? Everything, I'm sweating. You're clocking 97.1. I'm good? 97.1 is your, your body temperature. So he's gonna get the VA police for you and then 
they can possibly further assist. Yeah, we'll take care of it that way because uh, I don't want to run around. I need my medicine and I need to get a complaint. We just have a conversation. I'm the first step in the process. I'm here screaming. Yeah. And me, I've been denied my benefits. How you doing? Could you contact one of these guys for me? They're, uh, let's see, Brian English, he's an investigator, a detective, mm -hmm. and Darren Tanner, he's your investigator. This is what happened to me this weekend. This is what the VA did to me. If you want to read that, I'm not going to be able to give you all the details. They're written right there, boss. There's my details. And neither one of those guys, can you contact them and see if they're here and have them come over here? Two is over here, one is in the eighth. That was all, that second page, that was all the medicine I was supposed to get. And look what I did get. And I had to pay for it, man. They got, but they got, it's not what they do. Okay. You had to pay for it. It's not, it's not to deal with them. I can't call them over here. I mean, they told me to call them directly if I ever had problems. I was going to go to a user that I could get it on video that you're not helping me. Stealing something. You say if you had a problem, the problem would be you not receiving the medicine if they didn't send it. Did they send you the medicine? Nope. That's not that's not gonna do that's not a police matter, sir. Yes, yeah. nobody's calling them. Yeah, I wanna talk to these two guys. That's why I asked for you. Sir, this is what I'm saying. Me calling those two guys is not gonna do nothing. They, they know, know who they, I am, man. They right. understand right. who I am. They know about this stuff. Investigator Tanner, this is Marty Rodriguez. Hello? Hello, Investigator Tanner, this is Marty Rodriguez. Hi, what can I do for you today? Man, I'm having problems. I'm over here at the ER, man, and uh, I got an officer, Lee, here, who started off on bad terms with me for some reason. And I need somebody to come down here and help me out. Well, I'm actually off station. I'm not there right now. What's the problem? Oh, I didn't get, I had to call into the emergency room on Sunday. And uh, they didn't, uh, and they prescribed me a bunch of medicine. And then somehow, I didn't get all that medication. I got part of it, and I, and it was sent so late that I couldn't get to it. I didn't have a car or anything, so I couldn't get any of it. My daughter had to go pay for it. She got it transferred to another place and got it paid for that way. But what I'm trying to do right now is get my medicine and file a complaint, and uh, Officer Lee ain't being much help. Okay. I mean, uh, what what part of a complaint? I mean, are you trying to file what part of the I mean, the medication? Does the pharmacy have it, or what's the? I don't know exactly what happened. I know that the, I pulled the paperwork off of uh, my health vet, and I saw that there were three medications I was never provided. Okay. So I don't know what to do. And Officer well, Lee again, he ain't doing nothing. Now to help me. Okay, I'd say that you probably need to go and talk to your patient advocate and or and or the pharmacy or both. Should I go to the pharmacy then? I'd swear I'd say I'd start with. I'd bring your paperwork you have with you. You got that with you? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'd, I'd go and talk to the pharmacy and ask them about your medication. And see what's going on there because the ER normally doesn't do anything about that. It should be, be through the pharmacy. And if the pharmacy doesn't have an idea, you might talk to the patient advocate. They can probably help you out there. Okay, do you know if that patient advocate is even here today? Uh, I'm going to say yes, but not positive. Okay, I'm going to go to the pharmacy first and we'll see what happens. Uh, if anything comes up, I'll keep you posted. Oh, right. Thank you. Hey, 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 hold on. Oh. That, so. Yeah, about not getting my medications that I was prescribed. Yeah, that's me. Oh, yeah, I'm sick as a dog, bro. Got all kinds of medicine and everything. That's okay, baby. That don't bother you, does it? I'm not too bad. We got food like something. We got to see if you're going to the farm. 
so, I think I'm okay. This is what they prescribed me. But, but look, let me listen. listen. I understand it. I see all that. Let me be clear when I ask you this question, and I need to be very clear back to me. Do you have any cough, fever, chill, flu like symptoms, shortness, or breath? No. Okay, good. What so I need to know. Uh, so, good. so from this point, you going to the you going to the pharmacy? Yeah. Was he good? Yeah, he, he can't do nothing. Yeah, he can. Oh, yeah. I haven't broke no laws, bro. What? No, nobody said anything about breaking That's laws. That's why y'all can't do nothing. Y'all enforce well, well, laws. Are you going to at least listen to me for a minute? Not really. I got to go to the pharmacy. Well, no, no, you have to stop because now I'm telling you to stop and talk to you. <laughs> I'm starting to get the Dallas VA police. Here's the process. You are currently screened, you're currently screened to go to the pharmacy. Once you go to the pharmacy and you do whatever you need to do, then you need to leave because currently we're on a reduced item or on a reduced individual. So once you go, take care of your business and then you need to leave. Is that understood? Um, no, I just talked to uh, Investigator Tanner. Fantastic. Investigator Tanner said to go to the pharmacy and then go look for the patient advocate. Patient advocate is closed. Okay, then I'll probably give us uh, investigator Tanner a call then. Fantastic. Okay. He is not currently on property. Oh no, I just talked to him. He said he's not on property. Okay. That's correct. So this is what I am telling you. You will go to the pharmacy. Patient advocate is closed. Once you're done at the pharmacy, then 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 you, then you need to leave. How about if I need to take a leak or something? Can I use the restroom so, so, if I so need we're, to? So we're, we're going we're gonna to break it down arbitrarily? Well, you're trying to tell me exactly what I need to do, and I just wanted to make sure that if I had to go to the restroom, you wouldn't be trying to arrest me or anything. I would not arrest you for trying to utilize a restroom. That okay. A, well, thank utilizing you. Utilizing a restroom is a simple Are we done? Do you need to be escorted to the pharmacy? Let's go. No, I'd love for can, you to can, be there. Can you go on your own and act like an adult? That's Why would you think I couldn't? I know exactly where it's at. Because so far, we've had this interaction to where it seems like... It seems like I'm trying to go to the pharmacy and you're there. stopping me. Okay, well, I'm stopping you because I got called here in the first place because you've obviously had an issue with the school. Well, I talked to Tanner already. Tanner's okay. already straightened it out for me because I okay. couldn't get Lee and I can't get you to let me go. Well, I... All I'm trying to do is have a conversation with you. Well, I don't want to have a conversation. I want to go to the pharmacy. Right, and now I've given you instructions. So, so can I go? go? And now you're going to go to the pharmacy? Yes. Bye. If you want to see the rest of the video, go check it out on Mr. Rodriguez's channel. The link is in the description. Hopefully now you can see why I wanted to highlight this. These uniformed order followers of the VA hospital in Dallas clearly only understand might equals right. This last guy detained Mr. Rodriguez. We all heard him say Marty was not free to go because he needed to give him instructions. Then he tells Marty he's just trying to have a conversation. Call me crazy, doesn't a conversation have a back and forth element between both willing parties? Mr. Rodriguez has already stated he doesn't want to partake in any conversation with this sergeant. Then the sergeant admits he didn't want a conversation. He just wanted to prove to Mr. Rodriguez which one of them has the monopolized force of the state behind him by giving him directives on how to go about his business. Then we get Mr. Order Follower getting butt hurt because he gets called out for his authoritarian nature by being asked if it's okay to stop and use a public restroom. Clearly this Order Follower doesn't comprehend freedom because it blows his mind when this servant Mr. Rodriguez doesn't just thank him for being a hero to us all. This isn't compassion for people who served and supposedly protected our freedom back here in the homeland. This is blatant authoritarianism. Yes, Mr. Rodriguez, you served your masters in the international banking cartel, and they're finished with you. Now sit down, shut up, and continue to take and follow orders. That's the mentality of these guys at the VA hospitals. Thanks for supporting my channel and work. Links to all the platforms you can find questionable authority on are in the description below. And there's lots of ways to help me grow and dedicate more time to this channel. Of course, links to PayPal, Dash, Bitcoin, and others are listed. But you don't have to part with your capital to support me. There are ways like downloading the privacy-minded Brave browser using my link below and using it for 30 days, or sign up for a new Hive or Steam account and earn cryptocurrency for yourself for doing what you already do on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter, and at the same time, I'll earn crypto for your upvotes and comments.